I think one of the things I appreciate most about being an architect is this wonderful process of piecing together a puzzle. Solving those problems like space layouts and circulation within the spaces, drawing nature into the building and realising those aspects of looking out. The whole building becomes the ultimate living structure, enhancing the lives of people, whatever the reason for their interaction. They could be living, working or just travelling through. You know, it's like buildings are often perceived as just vessels and people are often indifferent and unaware of the role they can play on their lives. It's like, you know, what the hell is an architect for? What are craftspeople? What do they do? You know, it's like nowadays, people really seem to get confused and they can't work out the difference between architects and craftspeople. Why, you know, why is that? When I type a random search on the web like, what is public art, with ease and speed, links to various websites and blogs appear. Descriptions range from seemingly popular results stating that, public art is for anybody to experience in public spaces such as parks or municipal centres like town halls or civic centres. Another link would suggest that public art can be on private land, such as companies' headquarters. Some public art is considered illegal or even criminal. One form of this is commonly described as graffiti. It makes you wonder how the public ended up with the role of defining it as vandalism. I find it an odd perception. It's like if, you, it's like if I asked you the question now, what is public art? How would you answer? I like the way public arts have blended into the environment. It's like they're meant to be there. You know, they become organic in a way, and I still appreciate them. I find it a bit sad sometimes when you see them neglected and unmaintained. It's funny though, we kind of play with them now, adding some graffiti or sticking flyers on them. This public art is changing too. I think they are becoming more useful nowadays, like the way we see them used as partitions or barriers, and with the additional use of clever lighting as a way to attract our attention. Even old and ugly telecoms amenities are getting a nice spray of graffiti now. I think it's obvious that there is still clearly a need and desire for public art in whatever form it takes. Art works, as does graffiti, which I think has influenced this renewed interest in combining public art into the building design process. It's a responsibility and challenge. You know, for both architects and artists to work together more, creating surroundings where art becomes an essential part of our daily lives.